Hi, I'm Amy Nudane, and my title is Director of Curricular Choirs at Wheaton North High School. Carrie Anderson, and I'm a music teacher. Philip Rudd, um, Orchestra Director at Wheaton North High School. Most people take, like the air that we breathe, music for granted. And they think, oh, music, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, I like music. But if they took it away, people would be like, whoa. And the study of music digs on, on such a deeper level. You know, so many people think music's an easy A. Oh, we take choir, it's an easy A, because they see that any student can succeed in it. But I will tell you I have failed kids out of choir. And I will tell you that most of my students will tell you it's not an easy A. It's a lot of work. So those who think the study of music is easy have never studied music, I guarantee that. The people talk about the Mozart effect and, and this kind of thing from listening, the Baby Einstein things or whatever. Uh, that, that relationship is probably tenuous at best, but the, the research says the relationship between performing and uh, cognitive development um, the, the relationship between learning the music, playing an instrument, and uh, developing intellectually is very, very strong. Even the kids that might not be particularly academic or might not like school mm -hmm. tend to really like the music program because it's something so different. It's not uh, fair to the students to sort of consider these programs as sort of uh, icing on the cake for the education. Time signatures and, and like all those complex rhythms and dotted 16th notes here and there, right? <laughs> Music is very, very mathematical. It is a science. It really uses so much of your brain and your body to, to understand and to participate in music. Music in schools is so important so that every child has an opportunity to study music. Just the discipline of playing music, uh, the discipline of being in this kind of group, does work the mind in a way that benefits it long term, just in terms of uh, intellect. On December 5 and 20, boom, 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 on December 5 and 20, boom, boom, on December 5 and 20, boom, Oh, jeez. Um, like school music or, um, um, I have to think about this. Oh, there's so many good words. Okay. Wait, I need to think of the right word. But this year's really good. Team effort? Safe. If you had one word to say what you feel about Trouble Choir, what would you say? Happy? Happy? I'd have to say family. People learn how to work together. People learn to respect each other. People learn to respect differences. When I think of yeah. you North know, Choirs, I think of family. But when I think of my individual music experiences, I would say probably Passionate. Challenging. Inspirational. A release. I think it's inspiring. Uh, passionate. Incredible. It's just amazing. That's the, the most wonderful thing about music education. We learn to be creative individuals and we can express ourselves. Since the beginning of education, music was important. Any education system that is uh, sort of a full, well-rounded system will always have music and the other arts as a, a core of that system. Education is so important. Do you know education is the only thing that you can pay for that can't get taken away from you? Enlightening. Beautiful. Now, there's beauty in music, there's beauty in relationships, there's beauty in learning and sharing something that we love. Life-changing, and that seems like sort of um, overkill, but uh, really, we are different from having done this. You can't explain in words how music touches you. You can try, but if you could do that, you wouldn't need music. 